wrapped my arms around him and squeezed him in a mama bear hug. Honey, I'm so sorry. That doesn't feel very good. Do you like your shirt? Yes, I like it, he said. So I said, you look him in the eye and you say, I like my shirt and I don't care what you think of it. But as I was imparting those words of wisdom and coaching him on self-confident ways to respond to mean comments, what I was really thinking in my head was, you tell those kids you're going to leave a dead horse head in their bed. They don't <laughs> I could have said, no, you're a big boy now. No, you have to walk. No, I have too many other things to carry. But I didn't say no. I find a way to hold him to me. I breathe in his little boy's scent of sweat and soap. I know I can hold him just a little bit longer. They say, one day you'll put him down and won't ever pick him up again. He will outgrow it, and me. So I bend my knees and pick him up. See, the problem wasn't that my dad didn't tell me how he felt. The problem was I expected the words to make me feel loved, when in fact it was all the ways he showed me he loved me that I had to learn to see. And this is what I will teach my son. Take a private jet to the Hamptons with a man so we can drink gold.